I'd like to talk to you about using some virtual reality goggles to help with your chronic pain. Virtual reality? Goggles? What do you mean? Virtual reality is a type of technology that provides a computer-generated simulation of a three-dimensional image. It would transport you to a realistic environment different from the one you're in. Like a video game? That's right. Video games use virtual reality as well. How could playing a video game help with my pain? VR or virtual reality programs are used for various reasons. Patients who are in pain can be shown peaceful scenes which help distract them from unpleasant or uncomfortable situations. As well as using a virtual reality program, patients can also learn breathing and relaxation techniques. So you're saying that if I use virtual reality I can get rid of my pain? Not entirely, but there are some benefits to using virtual reality to help with pain management. Using VR to help distract you from painful situations means you should be able to reduce the amount of strong painkillers you take. This is because your brain is focused on something else, so it has fewer neurons available to process pain. I see. So the pain doesn't go away, but it's controlled better. If I reduce my pain medication, I'll save a lot of money too. I spend a considerable amount on my pain medication. It's been quite stressful. I can imagine that it must be difficult for you. The other benefit of reducing your opiate intake is that you can minimise the side effects caused by the painkiller drugs. That would be good. My pain medication causes constipation and can make me feel quite uncomfortable. Hmm. I mentioned that you will also learn skills like relaxation and breathing techniques, which can help to manage the pain as well. You can also learn these through VR. Okay. I'm not sure I understand about the goggles, though. Why do I need them? You need the goggles to be able to connect with the programme. Do I? I'm really not sure about using the goggles. Are they comfortable? They should fit snugly and be comfortable. Some patients complained about the older goggles, which were a little heavy and didn't fit well. The newer models appear to be better. I don't really like the idea of covering my eyes for long periods either. It's true that wearing the goggles makes some patients feel they have lost control of their environment. However, most patients get used to wearing the goggles, and I think that the positive effects outweigh the disadvantages. Okay. Can everyone use virtual reality for pain relief? No. There are quite a few patients who are unable to use VR. Patients with nausea or motion sickness are excluded, as are patients who have had a stroke or who have seizures. Well, I would be able to use the program because I don't fall into any of those categories. That's good. Another important thing we need to be aware of when setting up a patient for VR is to find out what type of environment the patient enjoys. Some patients may find a beach relaxing, whilst others may prefer a walk in a forest. I can see why that would be important. My personal choice would be a walk in a forest. I wouldn't find a beach relaxing at all. All that sand.